So let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say, one, two, three, God in your name, you've been the midst of them. We now invite you to see the present Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, we, we take this day and celebrate in our country, in this country, Father's Day. And, and what we want to do is to recognize and honor you as the Father of all things, glory to God. And, and we thank you for being the provider for all of us to seek you. And I, I like what the word says, seek you first. So we seek you and we thank you that we have a fellowship and relationship with you. And we're talking about those who believe and submitted themselves and, and allowed Christ, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to be our savior, our deliverer, so that we can be connected back to you. I thank you and we praise your holy name as we get into your message today. Move us out of the way and the Holy Spirit have his way to teach us and guide us in all truth. In Yeshua, Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thou shall not murder. Got you. It also said, Thou shalt have no other God before me. It also said to love your neighbor. It also said, Don't sit there and hate your neighbor, right? We will talk about those scriptures in a minute. But let's go into uh, what the word says. And I, like I said, what we just read, I, I caught that. And I don't know if some of you caught that before. It says, The kingdom, look at that verse five. For this you know, that no whoremonger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of the anointing. That's the first time I've seen that. I want to make a slide video on that, right? The kingdom of Christ and the kingdom of God. Conjunction. Walking in the anointing. That's what Christ means, the anointed one. And all of us are supposed to be Christ-like, walking in the body. See, we're probably, those of us who are, and you know who you are because the tree is known by its fruit. You understand that? A tree is known by its fruit. Is the fact is that you are in the kingdom of the anointing. If you be in Christ, you're in the kingdom of the anointing. Wow. I like that. I, I didn't catch that before. <laughs> the kingdom of the anointing. Hi, man, that's a blessing. That is a blessing in itself. The kingdom of the anointing. <laughs> Catch that, y'all. That's, that's a nugget for the day. He said, let no man deceive you, which we allow a lot of people have deceived us because we're not listening. We're not reading the word for ourselves. We're reading something else. We need to read the word of God ourselves. We got a uh, Hernandez. It is this, let me see here. Uh, what he says, sin to go dancing at the nightclub. How about a dance studio? It's not a sin to go dancing in a nightclub. Nightclub, look, it's a sin to to remember this. It's a sin to to, and we've talked about a dollar. We just read some of them, right? It's the works of the flesh. It's not you. It's not about where you go fellowshipping at. It's not about how you dance. It's about who is your Lord and Savior. That's what makes the difference. That's it, it, it. See, there's people hating people. There's people do not have shown no mercy, no love, no. That's that's what we got. The biggest areas of sin. It's not these little things. These little things have very little to to matter. It's not where we go. It's who we are, where we go, right? It's who we are, where we go, because you can go to a gathering in the park and you have people who hate. You can go home and there's people talking about hating somebody. It's, it's, not, it's not where you go, it's who you are, what fruits you bear. Do you know the fruits of the spirit, which is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such, there's no law. But it's not by the law. You can't live by the law, you gotta live by the love of God. In the mercy of God. Look at this where it says right here. Be ye therefore partakers. He said, be not. He said in verse six again. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things, 
come as the wrath of God. Not because you're in a nightclub, but because of being, let's go back to these scriptures, the ones before. Go back up here. Look at it. He said, see, this ain't got nothing to do about where you're going. It has to say about your behavior. He said, but fornicators or uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you becoming saints. Look at this. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convened, but rather give it a face. For we know that no whoremonger, we ain't talking about nobody going to the club, which are, these are the things, now these may be people that go to the club to do those things, but I, I, I think we all believe that there's a lot of people that are doing things that, that goes to ministries, right? We, 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 we know that some people do them some bad things, and yet they call themselves a church or a ministry. We know people call themselves uh, that goes to go to class, go to school. They still do the things that you may find that people do in a club. But it, it's, it's not about that, it's about these things themselves, right? It said, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not condemned, but rather given a thank. For this you know, that no whoremonger or unclean person, no covetous man who is an adulterer has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Those are the characteristics we need to focus on, not where we go. He said, let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come of the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. And it's talking about, like I said, it, it, it may not be based, some people that go to a nightclub may also be somebody that does good things, well, you can go to somebody to be going to a museum and anything else and may do bad things. I'm gonna say it's not the it's not the place or the location, it's not the dancing and stuff like that, right? Because you can dance, you can dance just as normal and clean as anybody else. But it's talking about the fact is that when you start doing the, the things that 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 equals uh bad behavior, and these are the bad behavior said. For you were sometimes, verse eight, for you were sometimes darkness but now are you light in the lord walk as children of the light and it's it's it's, it's it. look verse nine for the fruit of the spirit which i quoted earlier right found in galatians 5 22 to 23 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness Tempers against such there's no law. See, so I can, if you want to dance, dance bearing the fruits of the spirit, not the fruit of the flesh, but the fruit of the spirit. That's why I think it's important for us because I think believers, we get off track on the on these 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 external things and forget about the love and the mercy, and then we both walk in that because that's what's important. Walk in love. Walk in love. Look at this. But verse nine, for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, not the righteousness of man, but the righteousness of God. See, I can't get there. You can't get there. Nobody can get there based on their own righteousness. They have to get there based on his righteousness, be in Christ, right? Look at this verse 10, proving what is acceptable unto God. And what's acceptable to God is to bear the fruits of the spirit, to walk in love. So I can be able to dance in love, I can be able to fellowship in love, I be able to be able to read the word of God in love, and so the passion of God. That is what's important. That's what I'm trying to say is, is we need to do that, is to meditate and know the word of God, amen? That, that's what I look at. Uh, let me see. He also said that the time of Jesus, woman, thread with woman, and men will never with the appropriate sex. I, I, I understand. I, 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 what I'm saying is what is the character in nature of love and the mercy and grace that 
is what's more important. I mean, I'm not going to put those. We can we can all do modified behaviors and go different places we want to go. But if if you know what I'm saying is people can do that and still be mean and hateful, and there's people still doing things that are that that they do in the back and move in the corner in the dark. Those the, what's more important is be to bear the fruits of the spirit all the time, being led by God. If you're not led to go to the club, don't go to the club, but don't make it a law. Make it because that's what God led. He led you not to fellowship this way with certain people. He led you not to dance with certain people, but, but that's because he led you. But if you're not led, if that's not what his will, his word is his will, which is more important to me. That's what I think it is. To prove what is acceptable unto God and have no fellowship. Look at this have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You know that? Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. If it's unfruitful and it's works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the things that I wanted to make sure, what's this? It's the, the fact is we don't want to operate any way other than what God wants us to do. These are the main things I'm talking about with, when we look at, you know, not the minor, but the major is these things right here. It says in verse 16, Galatians 5, 16. This, this is where we pull from. Not, not, not those, those, those things that that I, I don't see where he said you want to inherit the kingdom of God at. You know what I mean? I'm just saying this. If if you dance, I mean, I don't know about the the, the dancing because David danced. <laughs> uh, people fellowship with one another. Uh, people go to uh, uh, proms and all that other stuff. I wouldn't call that. Those, those are not areas of sin. Look, I don't see that as sin. <laughs> I won't get, I see sin is not walking in love. Right? That's what the Bible says. So let's look at let's look at some of the works of the flesh. That's probably better, right? I think that's easier, right? Let's see what the word says. Because those are the big things. I think these are the big rocks that I think we should walk, deal with. Y'all look at this. This this dog, that's what the will says, right? Galatians 5 16 says, This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another, so you cannot do the things that you would. Look at this. But if you be led of the spirit, that's what I'm saying, let the Holy Spirit lead you. Like I said, he leads you. Because look, uh, Christ one time went from, with the Levi, Matthew, to his house, and the Sadducees, and they had, they brought it, he brought all these people that were not saved, and they had a fellowship, right? And I, I assume that they had that fellowship. They probably had people in there drinking, because they saw Christ drinking in there. They saw that they, they probably had some dancing and music and everything else. And the first thing they said, why is your master sitting there with those sinners? And, and Christ told them, he who needs not a physician, you know, if you're not sick, you don't need a physician. But I'm going to where people need me, need my word, need my understanding, need my compassion. So I, I, I won't shy for the, those type of things. I want to go and look at the works of the flesh, which is what Christ is saying I didn't do. I don't want you to do. Look at this. Now, verse 19, now the works of the flesh are manifest. Look at this. The works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Which are these.
that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.